Hello and welcome to Zanata Consulting and the CRM Zen Show's Beginner Series. This series is on Zoho Books. I'm Brett Martin. And I'm Tyler Colt. All right. Today we're going to talk about a real simple process here of online, setting up your online payments. One of the nicest things you can do inside Zoho Books is when you send out an invoice, people are able to just go ahead and click on a link, pay you by credit card, pay you by ACH, pay you through PayPal, there's a whole variety of things. And it's really easy to do. You're just going to click on settings and you're going to scroll down to online payments. And then you've got the various payment methodologies. So Stripe is their preferred gateway across the board. So when you click on uh, credit card, debit card, it's going to say set up Stripe. Now you have a lot of other options here. You have WePay and Forte and Square. Authorized.net is a big one. If you're using a third party credit card processor, this happens all the time. This is, you know, credit card fees are variable. Uh, I think, you know, if you walk in and use an American Express platinum card, it actually costs the merchant like four or 5%. Uh, for you to, to for them to accept that credit card from you. On the other hand, if you walk in and use a debit card, it's usually well less than one percent. So if you most of these companies like Square and WePay and Stripe, they all charge kind of the same fees. It's a, usually about thirty cents per transaction and two point nine percent on top of that. Um, where Authorized.net comes in handy is you know if you uh, run tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars in credit cards, you can go to a credit card processor and they'll come back and they'll give you a variable rate. Um, and that can usually end up saving you a lot of money. So if you're doing that, you have that ability to go through authorize.net. And as you can see, all of these others that are here as well. So they've got a wide variety to, to choose from. You have the exact same thing with ACH. Again, Stripe being the preferred gateway, but here you also can use Forte or authorize.net. And then PayPal, um, PayPal Flow Pro and Payments Pro, depending on how you're set up. Uh, a lot of people like to pay by PayPal. So this is one I really highly recommend you set up. And then you have Ideal, um, which is another methodology for another way for people to pay you. Uh, and again, they uh, Stripe supports Ideal and that's really your only choice. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna accept Ideal payments, you'll need to go through the Stripe gateway. Uh, for credit cards, debit cards, uh, I really love Stripe. Uh, for ACH, uh, we really, really love PayPal. Uh, and to get one of these set up is uh, pretty darn simple. Just go to Setup Now, and it's going to take you to Stripe. And at this point, you're going to go ahead and enter your Stripe credentials. Okay, and once you've entered your credentials, uh, this is assuming, by the way, you have a Stripe account set up. So your first process on this is go over to Stripe and go ahead and set up a basic account. And then once you've set that up, Stripe is always going to do a challenge. Usually it's going to be a text message to your phone. And uh, from there, you know, once you've entered that, it's going to know you might have multiple accounts with Stripe. In this case, we just have the one. And you're just going to go ahead and connect. And then it's going to go ahead and connect your Stripe account with Zoho Books. Now, um, once that's done, you're basically done up and connected. And now when you go back to your overall chart of accounts and banking, you'll not only have your holding account, but you'll also have this Stripe clearing account. So as funds come in to the Stripe clearing account, they'll appear here and then they're going to automatically be transferred up to your bank account. So how do you make it automatically transfer to your bank account? Well, when setting up your online payments, You've kind of got one other thing you're going to want to do, which is go ahead and edit the settings on the back end here. And this is where you're going to configure your bank accounts. And in this case, we really only have the one account it can go into. That's the holding account. Uh, so if you had multiple bank accounts set up, you can you can say where it's going to go there. So basically, anything coming into the anything coming into Stripe once it's deposited is automatically going to be removed from your Stripe clearing account and put directly into your bank account. Uh, you can also set up your fees account. So this is, we're going to talk on another one of our beginner guys. We'll talk about setting up your chart of accounts. We'll cover this in more detail, um, but you can say, where do you want these fees to go? It automatically creates something called Stripe fees that's in your chart of accounts. And then you can say, well, you know, what is this? Well, it is sales. So it's going to go right there. So all the fees that come out from Stripe are going to be put there. Some people will change this and they'll put in cost of goods sold. Um, those kind of things. So you really have a lot of choices. And as you can see, if you look here, 
you've got all of your chart of accounts to choose from as where you're going to put it. Maybe you just want to put it under bank fees instead of Stripe fees. Once you've got that set up, you go ahead and save. And now anytime the transactions come in, they're automatically going to reconcile and go directly into your bank account. It is that simple. And with that, we hope you enjoyed this quick little walkthrough of setting up online payments. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to email those over to us at info at and we'll be happy to help you out.